Yeah, I think there is a future for immunotherapy. The problem is that we don't know who these patients are who will respond. So if we look at other cancers like lung cancer where we have a reliable marker, such as pd one gastrointestinal malignancies where we have a re reliable marker of a response such as microsatellite instability. So we don't have that in neuron tumors. They are generally microsatellite stable tumors uh, and uh, although they may and often express pdl one we don't have good data to suggest uh, that being a good marker. We know from small cell carcinoma of the lung it probably doesn't matter a whole lot what your pdl one expression is. So I, w I think it's fair to say that the initial results have been somewhat disappointing, but there are still signals and they're suggesting to me that we need to pursue this as, uh, as possible therapy. And uh, it's just too hard to say where this will fit in. There are new trials coming down the pike for other malignancies using a combined approach with two uh, immunotherapy agents or with immunotherapy and uh, cytotoxic chemotherapy and even immunotherapy with ablative therapy such as the hepatic embolization or uh, PRRT is something I think would be very reasonable to explore. So immunotherapy is, uh, I think, still, it's, it's, it, it is still a target we should uh, go after.